my dears <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel my name is ada <clears throat> i'm sorry that this uh, youtube business has not been very consistent the problem is adulthood the worst hood i've ever lived in is finishing me so i'm trying to get my you know my life together that's why i've not been very consistent with posting content but if you are an old time subscriber thank you so much for keeping me in the business because of you i'm coming back here and for the new subscribers that have joined the family have been reaching out to me on instagram asking me questions sliding into my dm thank you so much because of you i am sitting here putting my life issues to one corner to give you the tea on student jobs in germany okay so um if you're new to my channel please i just want to name and beg you subscribe okay your girl wanna get monetized this year <laughs> So first things first, if you're wondering if international students are allowed to work while studying in Germany, then the answer is yes. The law allows you to work while studying. However, you're not supposed to work longer than 20 hours a week while studying, which is, you know, half time, part time, however it is you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, and something else is that, so during your semester breaks, people can, you know, actually work longer to make more money and all that you can actually work full time during your semester breaks but you should also keep in mind that you're not supposed to work longer than 120 full time days and 240 half time days in a year what this means is that beginning of the year january right and then if you work full day that's from 8 a.m to 6 p.m or 5 p.m whenever it is work closes and you, and you do that every day then your limit is 120 days full day in a year but if you're working half day so say you're working only in the morning you're working only in the afternoon then it's like 240 days in a year for instance you stay working in the middle of the year then this also applies from when you stay working so say you stay working sometime in september this also applies from that september till december so if you enter the next year, that is January the next year, your 120 days full day and 240 days half day starts all over again. It's not accumulated into the next year. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. You're, for students, you're only allowed to work not more than 20 hours a week during your semester breaks and two, um, 240 half days, 120 full days in a year. Okay. So down to the kind of jobs that students do. A variety of things, to be honest. A variety of things. The only thing is it just depends on what you want to do and what you can actually do. So um, the first kind of jobs that are very easy to find as a student are the lager jobs or menial jobs or I would say mini jobs. This kind of jobs are relatively easy to find because it's kind of unskilled. It's just a matter of you being present and you being able to do the job. You don't need any particular kind of skill to do it. So say, for instance, most students work in the gastronomy industry, you know, where you work as a waiter or as a bartender or um, you help deliver food, you know, this kind of thing. These jobs are the um, mini jobs. Most times they pay no more than 450 euros. And if, you're, if your salary is 450 euros, which is the minimum wage, in berlin i know for sure but i don't know for other cities but in berlin if it's if your if your salary is 450 that means you're not going to be taxed on that so that's the minimum wage anybody that earns 450 euros per month doesn't pay any taxes at all however uh, if you're collecting anything more than that then you're going to be taxed and the more money you get the more taxes apply to you <laughs> adulthood again <laughs> these kind of mini jobs applying for them is relatively easy as i said you just need to have the right visa the right um tax id story number um social security number like the basic things you need to be employed in germany you don't need any special kind of skill you just need to check your availability and they are most times flexible and this also includes working in you know restaurants mcdonald's or working as a cleaner and all that they're relatively easy to get and you also see a lot of students doing this kind of job and um this kind of job really thrives during the summer because you know people are out especially if you're working as a, a delivery person the sun is out so easy to like ride around the city in your bicycle 
really it's it's fun i work so once as a delivery girl <laughs> so i know it's like it's really fun and then then to the next kind of job this is the skilled kind of job where you get employed in a company as a working student also called vex students and job this kind of jobs you need to write your cv go through the interview processes and all that it's like getting the full experience of being employed in an organization you, you know how the organization works kind of jobs, they're not that easy to get compared to the mini jobs or the lagger jobs these ones you need like a specific kind of skill depending on the industry you want to go into or what it is you're being trained for and um something that's really important to know is that for this kind of jobs i encourage students to go for this kind of jobs even though they don't pay as high sometimes even though they don't pay as high as what you get in the um lagger jobs or or the untrained jobs it actually helps you build yourself for when you graduate and it also helps you know what is happening in an organization like it's kind of like um when you're studying you're getting this knowledge from the field as well so it makes it even gives you more experience so when you get, come out of school you become easier to get hired so that's what i'm currently doing i'm a working student right now in one of the companies here in germany and i tell you that really helped me build myself help me know what i want you know to do in, as a career help me meet other people in the same business in the same field and you know help me like really really grow so if you're really interested in applying for this kind of jobs you really need to also check what it is you're studying and how and what it is you want to do you know um, also keep in mind that especially if you need a visa to stay in germany people that need visas to stay in germany or to study in germany you should bear in mind that when you get a job after your graduation the possibility of you getting a work permit will depend on the kind of job you get you have to be employed in your field so if you're doing a lagger job or a mini job that doesn't need that that doesn't necessarily need skills that doesn't necessarily need you to you know make use of your brain to solve problems and solve issues then you might not get if fact, the possibility of you getting a visa is like very slim except the miracle happens because most times they don't give visas based on this kind of jobs this kind of jobs are like things you do temporarily just to you know get some money put some just get your life together a bit until you now find something in your field basically so i would encourage you to while you're looking for these easier ones to find also look for something more professional or something in the working student category so you can get necessary experience and the skills you need to thrive when you're out of school yeah and um, of course working student jobs depending on company you work in they are also quite flexible and most employers know that for students your school is priority so they wouldn't want to give you something that is too stressful something that would take so much of your time so that you can't even concentrate on your studies anymore no so um it's actually quite flexible as well because i remember sometimes i have my lectures in the morning i go to work in the afternoon and when i have my lectures in the afternoon i go to work in the morning so this is i just have to talk with your employer and then you figure out the best time schedule for you then the next kind of job is um for research students i don't know much about this but i know that if you're a scientist you're studying to be a scientist you know people in physics you know biology these kind of things you can actually work as um, a research student and i i think for research students the 120 and 240 rule doesn't apply to you guys so it's like it's a little bit different but it's for really scientific kind of things for most people are either in line of business you know business studies business management stuff like that or in technical skills like design um it etc so that's um, it for the kind of jobs students can do the question that usually pops up is when people ask if they can work full-time during their semester breaks i mean students that come from the eu and eea regions of course can work as long as they want during the holiday period however but students that come from outside of the eu region and the eea regions should also keep in mind that even if you're working full-time during your holiday breaks the 120 days and 240 days still applies to you so you should also keep that in mind so that you don't exceed the amount of days you work in a year otherwise thing is that most of you think that <laughs> this would they don't know they're not watching you but when it really gets you is when you want to apply for an extension of your work of your um, student permit and then you go to the book and arms because they will ask you they'll, um they'll ask you for your pay slip and then you go to the Oslander beholder and they see your pay slip and they say that you're, you're working more than you're supposed to be working it's 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 not good.
it's not good it's it might complicate your um extension but the only thing is i just have to be really careful with that so um pay attention to the working hours pay attention to the number of days you can work either as a full-time or as a part-time student i'm speaking of pay sleep on the pay sleep it's very important for you to know how to read your pay sleep i mean as i said it reveals how many hours you worked, the amount of money you, you get paid per hour. On an average, most companies um, hire working students. Like the fee they pay working students is either 10 to 11 euros per hour. Some people pay 15 to 16 euros per hour. It also depends on what you're doing and depends on um, where you're working. But on an average, it's either 10 to 16 euros per hour and um something that's also really important for you to know is the difference between the brutto and the netto so in your salary <laughs> there's something that's called the gross salary and the net salary the gross salary pay per annum that's every year is what they will tell you especially when you're signing your contract your working contract that's what you know you get to hear and then you feel like oh it's a lot of money but the money that actually enters into your account is your netto and that's what you should be concerned about okay because of course in germany the taxes still apply you have to pay taxes and as i said the more money you get the more taxes you pay you just have to really pay attention to your netto and you can see all of this in the pay slip that's why you need to know how to read your pay slip and speaking of taxes at the end of the year you also have to declare your taxes now there are different ways you can declare your taxes the one of the very common ways is to use tax fix you know it makes it really simple but you can also do this online you think that of course you can use tax fix but it requires um a fee and then but if you do this online using the normal german Stoya declaration website it might be a little bit complicated because of course especially if you're not used to taxes for me i learned how to do taxes here in germany in nigeria i wasn't doing it in china i wasn't doing this so here i had to learn how to do it myself and then tax fee just made it like really easy for me so so at the end of each working year you have to declare your taxes for that year and it's also really important especially if you get a certain amount of money at the end of each work year if you're also looking for where you can apply for the more student jobs, I mean, there are some, some places online. First of all, in your school where you're studying, especially in schools and universities, there are places or like a body assigned to helping students find jobs. You can check out for that in your school. I don't know what it's called in your school, but you know, some people they call it job mentor. So it depends on what it's called in you know different schools. And also, you can also check out some websites like indeed.da or um glassdoor.da or students in temp this website a lot of companies advertise the kind of jobs they have also for student jobs so you can go there to find the kind of jobs read the job description make sure that your your cv is tailored to what they want and then you can apply for the jobs pass through the interview process and you get hired so um i hope you find this video really helpful let me know in the comment section if you have any questions as regards to this video and um yeah i wish you good luck looking out for jobs for yourself i also wish you good luck trying to be an adult in deutschland <laughs> all right i'll see you in my next video tschüss